Oh my goodness. Well, good morning, everyone. Got the day off today and headed out to the lake. A little bit later start. I needed to sleep in and get some rest. I've been getting up at 3 or 4 every morning and doing stuff. And, boy, I'm just tired. So, headed out to the lake today. Might hit another lake this afternoon. We'll see how I feel. But, anyway, hopefully we'll get on some good stuff. Get on some rings. Get on some chains. Get on some bracelets. Uh, hopefully some gold. Some big gold. That's what I'm going for today. So uh, I've got a little bit further to go, so I'll see you guys out in the water. Well, it's getting my first target out here. It looks like a gold-plated ring. It's ringing up like a 74. But uh, I have to look a little closer for some markings on it. But it just kind of feels light and gold-plated. So, all right, that's uh, ring number one. So let's keep looking. Ring number two. It's uh, kind of a colorful stainless steel ring. I'll take it. It's uh, two rings out of here and a handful of change. So I know it hasn't been hunted. And so uh, let's keep swinging. Let's head out toward more of the deep water. And we're just about waist deep right now. And see if we can't find some gold. That's what I'm looking for gold. 45, 46, 43. Let's get into 45, 46. Jumping around from a 43. It looks like a silver ring, silver band, but it's not. It's going to be a stainless steel maybe it could be platinum I can't read any writing in it right now but as you're watching this video you know what it is but uh, it's too light I think to be platinum but I've never dug a platinum ring so that'd be nice to get one of those anyway let's keep looking that's three rings and handful of change and uh, little earrings and different things so let's keep looking it's been good so far it's getting a 72 doesn't sound like a penny. It sounds different, but it's jumpy like a penny. Usually, when they're jumpy like that, it's hard to pin, hard to pinpoint them. I'll get it here in a second. It's a little over waist deep of water. This one's hard to pinpoint. This will be continued here. It's in here somewhere. I hear it. I just can't get it. All right, I think I got it. Is that gold? Ah, uh, 
it's not going to be. Man, I thought for a second that's going to be gold, but it's just going to be gold plated. I don't see any markings in it whatsoever. It's a pretty ring. It's just going to be probably what I would call a costume ring. So, uh, huh, gave me a heart attack. I want gold so bad. So, uh, that's a nice ring. All right, let's keep on looking for that big gold ring or gold chain or gold something. Let's just go for gold. Check this out. It's getting an 84, real jumpy 84. Turns out to be a silver heart chain. I'll take that. All right, man, it's been a good day so far. I've only been out here less than an hour. So let's keep looking. Let's, uh, yeah, I think it says 925 right there on the clasp. I know you can't see it, but it looks like it says, James, maybe James Avery. That's that uh, trident symbol. All right, let's keep going. Getting a very high tone, 82. And this is my fifth ring like this. This is a James Avery stacker. Must be a real popular style with the younger ladies. You stack all these rings together. Sometimes when there's one, there's two that they stack together. But uh, I have to circle around here and see if I can find another one. But I'll take that. James Avery, silver ring. All right, it's been a good day. Let's keep going for the gold. I don't know if you can see that. It's a 29, 35, Iron grunt the whole way. Only about waist deep water. Let's reach down there and see if we can see what this is. It's right there on the end of my coil. Could be a chain. It sounds like a chain. Yep, these are hard to find. I don't know if this is going to be silver. These are very, very thin chains, bringing up, like I said, 29 to 32, uh, all in the 30s, and it had an iron grunt sound. Unless your sensitivity is low enough, you're not going to pick these up at all. Uh, not your sensitivity. Sens sensitivity has to be high enough. Your discrimination has to be low enough, was what I'm trying to say. Uh, my discrimination, I think I'm running about 27 right now and uh, just caught this and sometimes it pays off sometimes it's just bobby pins that's what it sounds like a bobby pin all right let's keep rolling getting a 45 here about chest deep water oh my goodness Oh my, that is gold, folks. That's heavy, too. I don't see a clasp is kind of messed up. I don't see a marking on it, but I guarantee you that's gold. Look how big that is. That's got to be at least a 30-inch a chain. I bet that weighs a, an ounce or more. I got my gold. I'm trying to keep it down because I got some people behind me. Man, that is unreal. Check that out. Check that out. Man, that's that's got to be if that's 14k and that's over an ounce. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Ooh, my day's been made. It's been a good morning so far. We've only been out here a little over an hour. All right, let's keep looking. Maybe 
there's some more out here. Woohoo! Getting a 91, 85, 84, 91, 94. It's gonna be a silver ring. Well, hopefully it is. Usually ringing that high, it's a silver ring. Let's see. Yep. There we go. Yeah, it's a silver ring. Well, it's getting that 91 to an 84, and it's going to be a men's silver spinner ring. Check that out. It's pretty nice. That's the only thing I found out here so far, other than just some coins. So, sun's just about down, so I'm fixing to call it today. Go out tomorrow, see what else we can get. So, that's a good time. Let's keep on rolling. Forty three to forty six. Not very deep. Not waist deep. I'll check that out. Well, missed it. Preacher Digger got his cross. It's an episode. Check that out. I can do all things. Philippians four thirteen. Stainless steel cross. It's an episode. Woohoo! Preacher Digger got his cross. All right, let's keep looking. See if we find some gold. 65, 64, 71, 70. Anywhere from a 50 to a 71. We're at the end of my coil. Let's go see what this is going to be. There it is, right there. Let me get my other camera. It's gonna be a ring. Put some water on it. Looks like it's gonna be a, gonna be a tungsten ring. A Triton. C850. These are, if I'm thinking right, Triton is the high dollar tungsten ring. This may be about a $350 ring. I'll put the value of it up there on the screen as we're talking because I've dug one of these before and looked them up. Triton 850 is a special type of tungsten ring. All right, it pays to hunt the little shallow waters right here. So let's keep on looking. Let's see what else we can find. I got my first find out here today. This is going to be a little silver heart charm. Bring it up as a like a 60, real jumpy 60, because it's not solid. But hey, that's something. Let's uh, keep swinging here a little bit longer, and I'm going to go to another lake and let's uh, wrap this video up and see if we can't find a few more things. Got a 65 here. Sounds really good. Let's see what a 65 is going to be for us today. Well, finally, 
I got it up. It's getting a real quiet faint, 65, and then it jumped up to a 56, or jumped down to a 56. Definitely got some uh, riding on the class, but I can't read what it is. It looks like a gold chain, a very thin, small gold chain. It's ringing up like a gold chain. Um, by the time you're watching this video, you'll know exactly what it is. But anyway, uh, about chest deep water. And uh, there's another detectorist out here. I just met him from the same area that I'm from. And uh, he's found a couple of items. All right, let's keep swinging before the sun goes down and see what else we can get. Well, another week in the books. and was a pretty good week. I went to several lakes, several different swim holes uh, a couple of times. And uh, some days I found a lot and some days I didn't find hardly anything at all some days I thought whatever what I thought a lake would be hunted out was the one where I found everything and a lake where I thought I would find a lot and I found nothing at all you can just never tell that's why you just got to be consistent and get out there especially during these dog days of summer there's not as many people out swimming so it's not as much targets to find and, and the same guys are still out there so you got to be the first one on the lake to, if you're going to get anything and so I'm happy to get anything. I'm happy to get out and just have a good time and meet people along the way. Met a, a new guy that uh, knew my channel. I met him in the lake this week. And so that's good uh, to meet uh, new guys out there. But anyway, got everything laid out here. Let me spin you around. Let me show you what I found this time around. All right, I always like to start out with my trash. And again, here is another week's worth of trash just out of the swim area. This is not in the sand area. This is just out of the water alone. And I dig this much every single time out of the lakes. It's a shame that we can't take our trash out with us, right? Uh, here are my treasures. Uh, there's a pair of glasses from China. Got me a little toy car. Had a lot of quarters this time around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars and seventy-five cents in quarters. And we got uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26 dimes, 260 in dimes. We got 5, 10, 15 quarters. And we got uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 pennies. So quite a bit of change this time around. That's all going to my grandson. And uh, we're bearing a treasure chest for him with all this money I've been finding in there. And he's going to be real surprised when he goes down to the beach on vacation. I got one token, no cash value token. Uh, just a common token. I found a dog tag there and a, a, a jump drive, which I'm going to see if there, I can get anything off of that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. A couple of hoop earrings, a couple of studs, earrings, different types there. Different types of, uh, I don't really know what those things are, but in types of jewelry. I uh, got a copper chain. I thought it was gold, but it's just copper. Got a stainless steel chain. And then Preacher Digger did get his cross. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength, Philippians 4.13. I got a silver heart uh, necklace, no chain. And then a James Avery um, big link chain. That thing weighs 1.3 ounces. Check that out. You can see right there, James Avery. And that's about a $225 value uh, bracelet. And uh, that's a nice find. Here are my rings for the week. I got uh, these are my stainless steel rings right here. That one there I thought was a gold one, but it's just fake. I got a real nice Triton tungsten ring. Then got a James Avery stacker ring and another Mig Men silver spinner ring. And then the find of the week is this right here, this 34 and a half inch chain. 10 karat gold, 1.53 ounces or 43 grams. It's worth about $1,250 just in scrap value, $2,000 in retail value. And this is my second chain in my second uh, video here that I've done. And so, wow, I love finding those big gold chains. That's nice. So, here's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. And like I always say, folks, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out to the lakes or out in the fields and find and put on your tailgate and show everybody and make a wrap up. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. So I encourage you to keep searching and keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.